Hi children, welcome to our channel Mock Mother of CBSC Kids The Rise of Wisdom. Today I want to explain question and answers from social studies chapter number 9 Temperate Climate. First main, answer the following in a few words. First question, what is the main factor that determines the amount of rainfall that temperate region receive? See the answer here. Depending upon the distance from the sea, temperate region receive moderate to low rainfall. This is the main factor that determines uh, the amount of rainfall that temperate regions receive. Second question. Name any five temperate grasslands in the world. See the answer here. The following are the five temperate grasslands in the world. Those are prairies in North America, Pampas in South America, steppes in Europe and Asia, Veltas in Southern Africa, Downs in Australia. These are five temperate grasslands in the world. Third question. Name any five animal species found in temperate grasslands. See the answer here. The five animal species found in the temperate grasslands are bison, grizzly bears, mustang, jaguar, kangaroo. These are the five animal species found in temperate grassland. And also I will show the pictures for these animals. See here. This is a bison. And these are, these are the grizzly bears, mustang, jaguar, kangaroos. These are the five animal species found in the temperate grassland. See here, fourth question. Name the tribes inhib inhibiting the temperate regions. See the answer here. Koi Koi, San and Bantu tribes lives in the southern Africa. Kyrgyz, Turk and Mongolian tribes inhibit the temperate regions. These are the tribes inhibiting the temperate regions. Fifth question. Why is the temperate region known as a granary of the world? See here. Answer is temperate belt are well populated. With favorable climate and uninterrupted plains support extensive farming. What is the meaning of extensive farming? See here. Extensive form, farming also known as extensive agriculture is a type of farming that uses a large amount of land with a minimal amount of labor, capital and other resources. Or uh, It's uh, often used in area with low population density and abundant land. This is the meaning of extensive farming. See here, wheat, barley, maize, rye and oats are largely grown in these regions. Therefore, these regions is known as granary of the world. Second main, answer the following in detail. See the first question here. Describe the general features of temperate climate. See here, what are the general features of our temperate climate? See here, temperate zone has a moderate climate. The weather is neither too hot nor too cold. Temperate climate has several variations. Those are Mediterranean, Maritime, Subtropical and Continental climate or some types of climate found in this zone. These are the general features of the temperate climate. Second question. Why does the climate vary from severe to moderate in the northern and the southern hemisphere? See here. Answer. Some areas of temperate region in the northern hemisphere experiences continental type of climate. See here, what is the meaning of the continental type of climate is a climate characterized by hot and humid summers, cold winters and little rainfall. And also here, see the meaning here, continental type of climate prevails 
when the land is away from the water body this is the meaning of the continental type of climate see here in the southern hemisphere the grasslands are spread along with the coasts proximity to the sea what is the meaning of the proximity proximity means nearness see here proximity to the sea means that climate in the region is moderate therefore climate in temperate region in southern hemisphere remains pleasant for most parts of the year third question list the important features of temperate vegetation see here answer temperate regions are associated with grasslands grasslands are known by different names around the world we know already this sir different names around the world grasslands are known by different names of different names around the world we know that uh, names see here next point grass in these regions varies according to length season and variety they grow tall in prairies and short in steppes they grow thick in summer and their growth is slow slows in winter a nutrient rich fold fodder grass known as alfalfa grows commonly in the prairies and pampas these are the important features of the temperate vegetation see here fourth question why is extensive farming carried out in the temperate grasslands here we know already the meaning of the extensive farming see here the answer temperate belt has favorable climate and uninterrupted plains which supports extensive farming large areas of the pampas prairies and steppes have been converted into agriculture lands wheat maize barley rye and oats are largely grown in these regions fifth question how popular is pastoral farming in the temperate regions see the answer here cultivation in the temperate region is accompanied by a vital pastoral industry the fertile pastures in these grasslands support the flourishing cattle and sheep rearing industries thank you all please like comment share and subscribe thank you